Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Exponential Family. And we're going to look at the SKU logistic distribution. And this is one of several ways to generalize the logistic distribution. And more specifically, sometimes this is called a type 1 generalized logistic distribution. But I think it's more commonly known as the SKU logistic distribution. And this is a follow-up video from a video I call the Exponential Family Mean and Variance, where we derive the mean and the variance generically for any exponential family. Now we're going to do it specifically for the skew logistic distribution. So the density is written like this, where x is real and, and the parameter is positive. And now we want to sort of separate it or make it look like a Logist or a, a exponential family, part of that family. So on the bottom, we split it into you know the one comes here and the alpha raised here, alpha here. And so what we're doing is we're putting the parameters over here and just the data over here. Now we want to take this you know the times the log and then e. So really we didn't change it because the e and the log cancel each other and we get this back. But when we take the log of this, then we, we get the difference. That's what this is. And the log, that would be in the exponent. But we can take it out front in the log. In the same way, you know, that's what this is. And here is the log of, of alpha. And then the minus and the minus. And we do that because we need a minus here for this to all work out. So this is generically a function of the x's, this is a function of the parameters, and this is sort of the, the product of two functions of just the parameters and, and just the data. And this here we generically call t of x, it's a sufficient statistic, and it's complete for alpha. Now we want to put it in canonical form, so here there's a negative and we just we just really want to call this some parameter, and we'll call it eta. So this is generically h of x. We'll call this eta. We'll call this t of x, and this a of eta. And we want the negative in there for this theory to work. And this a of eta is called a log partition, if you want to delve into that a little further. So this is it. So this is a general form. Now, the very cool part about this, or at least in my mind, is the, the mean of our sufficient statistic is actually the first derivative of this log partition. The variance of this is the second derivative of this log partition. And so let's derive those. <clears throat> and doing this without the theory of exponential family would actually be quite impossible, quite hard to develop a closed form exp expression. So the exp expected value of our test statistic or our sufficient statistic, just plug it in. In theory it says it's the first derivative of the log partition. And then when you take the derivative you get this. And eta is you know, minus alpha so we put that in everything cancels and we get 1 over alpha. The variance is the second derivative. So the variance of our sufficient statistic is the variance of this, which is the second derivative of the log partition, or the first derivative, or the derivative of the derivative. And so here, you can't populate it with alpha. You have to keep it in terms of eta. So these, these minuses cancel. And we're left with minus 1 over eta. And so that's what needs to go here. So now when we take the derivative of this, you know, I like to think of it as bring it up and raise it to minus 1. So then the minus 1 comes out front times that minus 1, makes it a positive. And then you, you subtract 1 from the exponent, given minus 2, but then that can go back down. Now we plug in what eta is, which is minus alpha, and you square it, you get just alpha squared back. Yep, well that's all I have for this video, and hopefully you enjoyed that. The reason I'm providing this uh, 
example or this video is I'm going to use this example in the layman's faith theorem or an example after I prove the layman's faith theorem. Um, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.